<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just thought I'd add that bit of a sound bite because it was about the only thing that was missing at Everton on Saturday for the game was thunder and lightning. Wow, was it wet. I left home and it was it was bright sunshine up here in Lincolnshire and uh, headed west over towards uh, Liverpool and Everton and uh, about a two and a half hour, hour journey, something like that along the M62, nice easy journey. Really looking forward to going to Goodison Park, never been there before, not not working wise anyway, um, driven past it a few times, but yeah, so really excited. And then I could see the clouds coming over the moors and I thought, oh, as you go over the top of the M62, literally got out the car, it started spitting as I was walking towards the ground and then signed in, got me stuff in the, in the press room, Met some of the guys. Oh, incidentally, great to catch up with David Blunsden finally and Alan Martin. Those guys both shoot for Action Plus, who I used to shoot for. So, yeah, great to meet you guys. And hopefully you'll catch up again at another Everton game, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, good good to see you guys. But, yeah, dumped all the stuff off in the press room, headed outside to do some previews, and it just started raining, and it never stopped. It got heavier and heavier. It never lit up. Oh dear, oh dear, what what a game. But anyway, as I'm going through the set, I'll explain to you exactly what didn't go right and what went wrong. But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the laptop and have a look at the image set. Right, as usual, as you can see here, the uh, the pretty standard start off for the image set, the old ground preview if you like and quite like this angle you can see Everton on two sides of the stand so that was nice and incidentally all the way over there I'm thinking Luton haven't won a game yet, haven't, I've got a wasp in here, hang on a minute let's get rid of that, come here you, one moment Got him. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on before we was rudely <laughs> interrupted by the wasp. I hope I've got him. He's fallen behind the desk anyway. Probably crawl over and get my feet in a minute. But yeah, all the way there, I was thinking, now Luton have got one lucky point really. They got a lucky point last week. It was a VAR decision, handball decision. So they managed to get a point from the game. Other than that, I think they've they've lost every other game. Four games, is it, this season? So far? Everton, on the other hand, have had, been having a bad run start of the season. Then they beat Brentford last week. And then they beat Aston Villa midweek in cup game, the Carabao Cup game. So I thought, and Calvert-Lewin was back, he's fit again, and he's been on fire, he's been on form. I thought, I've got to go Everton attack first half, because it could be, it, they could run riot if they're on form. Got, I've got to go Everton attack first half. Well, as it turned out, bad decision. But uh, they say you always go with the underdogs and take a risk, but pff, do you take a risk? I hate those sort of decisions. It's much easier when you're shooting for a team and you have to do them both uh, attack both halves. But anyway, went with Everton first half, got set up, did a few previews. Let's jump into this and have a look at the previews first before I get carried away with the game. But uh, let's just click on that. Right then, so yeah, couple of uh, couple of the ground, so quite nice. You see the stewards getting ready in that. Uh, incidentally, we're in pits at Everton and the pits are about here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, about here the pits are, so we're sat in the pits there, and there's all, all four corners of the pits, and we can plug in, so that was good. Had had two leads with me, <laughs> had the spare lead, like I said last week in the video. Yeah, so a couple of shots of the ground, and then headed outside, and I really like this mural. Um, just It's probably been shot to death, but uh, really like that, and uh, it was there, I thought, I've got to grab it. I've not seen it before. And I want it to be part of my set. So, yeah, grab that, which was nice. Just opposite the ground, the entrance. So that's nice. And then uh, a, a memorial wall. This chap with his Everton hat on, just looking at his his phone. Didn't even know I was there again. And all the Everton crests, I thought, got to snap that for a bit of a preview. So that was quite nice. 70 to 200, quite far back. Bit of colour. Looking for a bit of colour, as with last week with the Leeds scarves. Um... Thought this was quite nice with Jordan Pickford there and uh, then Everton two or three times in the, in the picture, so that's nice. And a few flags and that. Not too much sky, which is nice. Managed to compose it nice. A couple of fans arriving and the streets around Goodison Park are so picturesque. They really do lend themselves well. There's a flag in a minute that I'll show you. That's quite nice. But yeah, a couple of fans making their way to the ground. Now, I wanted to show somehow 
that it was the weather was deteriorating and it was raining and lo and behold this chap had his brolly up with a few fans coming in a couple of young fans coming into the turnstile so yeah i thought i'll get that brolly just to show that it's raining and uh, yeah and this is that this is that flag probably a bit of gap here i suppose i did crop in for one and do a portrait but then you lose the street view and obviously this is goodison park here the back of one of the stands but yeah quite like that flag hanging out so i snapped that quick and then back into the ground that's all the previews done back into the ground um, we've got Luton arriving here and I, I like this lad just stood there just just looking at Goodison Park and uh, one of his teammates who I, I, I made nice and soft because we're at 2.8 there I wanted to emphasise him just stood there lent up the post just contemplating being at Goodison Park I guess so yeah that was quite nice and then oh this is Tim Krull quite a well known keeper not I don't want to say veteran keeper but he's uh, he's cracking on now but nice to see Tim Krull so he's um one well, Luton second or third keeper, I think, but uh, obviously quite influential for the goalkeepers anyway. Into a bit of warm up, and as you can see, the rain. What we at there? We're at a thousandth there at two point eight, and uh, the rain's slowly getting heavier. And uh, I thought this was quite good just to show that it was horrible conditions. You can't really see. I mean, it might have just stopped a bit the rain, but he's got his his snood on and his hat on and uh, his cap on and. Um, Woolly out, should I say, and yeah, the conditions were awful, and trying to keep the kit dry was was a nightmare. As I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in in a minute. Bit more warm up. Um, Luton's number one keeper, and then this is Mar uh, Morrison, I think it was, uh, eventual goal scorer. Just warming up, quite a nice shot of him just turning on the ball there, and a bit more warm up. As you can see, the rain is not holding off. Then we're just into kickoff. The, well, just before kickoff, the players just shaking hands, and I wanted to try and show that it was Premier League game, so he got the line there and, and whatever. And then just an overall view, nice banner that they put up in the stand. So I thought we'd get that, get a nice widey. Shame about the camera cameramen and that, but you can't really escape them. And that's the scene, and that's what I shot. So yeah, and then into kickoff, I put this put this in uh, time order, I think. So yeah, this is Ashley Young. He had quite quite a dominant part to play all through the game and uh, just I sent quite a few stock of him off but uh, thought that was quite nice of him sprinting forward with the ball uh, what happened here uh, I think he'd missed he'd missed a shot now what time is this uh, this is yeah straight straight from the off Everton missed a goal scoring chance um, I must have been blocked for it because I haven't I haven't chosen it but yeah straight away I've managed to get a bit of dejection which later on obviously paid off and I was, I was able to send some dejection but yeah anything that you can grab dejection or elation whatever grab it if you can because you never know what the story is going to be and the more images you've got the more variation the more the more valuable your set could be the more important it could be you know another another miss another bit of dejection you know you could crop in on his face and he's got his hand on his head and these two look dejected so yeah kept, kept that one Bit of action, trying to grab as much action as I could. What we at? Twelve minutes past. Sometimes games start off really frantic, don't they? And, and this game did. Uh, Everton were pressing, but then Luton really did put pile the pressure on. A uh, bit of action. What we at there? Settings wise, two thousandth. It was although it was raining, it was still quite bright in there. So could whack the whack the. Uh, I'm only at ISO ISO eight hundred there. Look, f two point eight, two thousandth of a second, and. Uh, yeah, you can really freeze frame everything. The ball's lovely and frozen there, look, and the gra blades of grass coming up, so making some nice shots. Bit of, that could be, bit of dejection, a bit of thought from the Luton keeper. Again, he was just walking to collect the ball, so I thought I'd shoot that. And then I thought I'd better get some of Sean Dyche as much as I could. He's quite animated, so I, I concentrated on the managers for a couple of minutes, and uh, I think this one appeared in, in one of the clips. Unfortunately, I think it was the only one that did this weekend, because I... Had a nightmare to be honest, but anyway, what are we at now? We're at 20 past, still on the managers because not a lot's happening on the ground. That was quite a nice one, quite an animated one of Sean Dyche. And then this is the first goal. Now, I can't think, I think it was a header, it hit the bar and came off. Let's have a look, hang on, came off the bar, rolled down Jordan Pickford's uh, arm onto his face, and then it came behind. This player here, number 13, this Luton player. Now, the next frame I caught, the goal's already been scored. Uh, the captain, he, um, you've probably seen it on match of the day. He went, uh, I think it was Ashley Young, went to clear it and he kicked it straight into uh, Luton captain's feet. 
ricocheted straight into the goal, didn't get the goal, and I didn't get any celebration. I just got these three, uh, just them two frames really. He ran off and I was blocked and blocked and obviously he's turning towards the crowd and uh, and incidentally it was great to meet David Horn as well, um, part of Prime Media. Uh, done a few shifts for Prime in the past for David and, and Andy and uh, good to see David as well. Uh, he's Luton's photographer and of course they knew where he was sat and they ran straight to him. He got some cracking images he did so yeah really chuffed for David. Yeah, Should have gone and sat next to him. <laughs> but anyway, bit of the ref. So we're 1-0. And then a uh, nice shot of the ref. I think that could have been some sort of VAR decision. He's talking, looks like he's talking into the mic. And as we know, VAR is massive in the news at the minute. So nice shot of what looks like um, Anthony Taylor talking to the VAR guys. And then just like that, it was a free kick to Luton. Um, and then two or three minutes later, oh, three or four minutes later, free kick. I think it's Morrison comes, or Morris, I can't remember his name, comes round the side of the wall, straight in the goal. Missed, missed that, I was blocked for that. And just a nightmare. He ran towards uh, towards David again, I think. Obviously clocked where David was by now. Um, just a, a quick, oh, let's just zoom out, look, because I'm zoomed in a bit. And I don't like backs. I, I think backs are pretty, pretty much a waste of time. But I did that because I was looking for any sort of reaction in the crowd. Um, they're all looking a bit dejected. Look, I don't know if oh, there's a, there's some V's there. Look, look at that young lad there having his having his bap or whatever it is. Yeah, there's plenty of dejection about. He's pointing. Look, some more fingers going up there. He looks dejected. I love looking at the crowd. Look at him there. He's thinking, oh what? But uh, yeah, celebrating, and that was basically it. And then he did just walk back towards, but the pull. That's a massive pull. Quality is poor. That's the only thing I got really. So that's all I got sent off. And uh, yeah, there was the guys at the other end, including David, got much better sets of of the Luton team. That was two nil up at what's that? Half past three. Look, uh, three thirty one. Luton till two nil up, and I'm thinking, oh dear, if only you could see into the future. But anyway, this result in the end it, it surprised everyone. No one, no one had uh, said you know would have predicted that Luton was going to win. But good that they did, and they got the first Premier League win. But Anyway, uh, what's this? Yeah, 3.37, six minutes later, Everton had some pressure again, and this guy just headed just over the, the loot and bar, just missed. I wish that had gone in, because quite a nice frame, that. I did get one or two other frames of the ball coming off his head, but quite like that one. Yeah, and a bit of dejection, look, oof, just over in his mate here. <laughs> even even the uh, steward at the back's going, oh, no. But, uh, yeah, so a bit more dejection again. Anthony Taylor again, just trying to hose down the ref. That's quite a nice one. Might see that somewhere with EA Sports and that. But uh, nice, nice backdrop to that. Nice and clean. And then Everton scored. What time is it? 3.40, look. So I don't know how he didn't get this in. It was a great save. So as you can see, Keeper just saved it there. So I thought, oh, no, saved it. But then Calvert-Lewin mops up and just taps it in. Again, he's got his back to us, not the, not the best. But then there was a, a massive long wait, VAR. It must have been two or three minutes. And uh, anyway, the goal was given. And they went in 2-1 at half-time. Sean Dyche, I think this was during the VAR decision. Uh, Sean Dyche giving out some instruction. And again, he's looking a bit, a bit, uh, a bit angry there towards Tarkowski so I've shot that and then this one although it's quite messy you know what the papers are like they might just do just do that Sean Dyche dejection obviously the the quality is absolutely terrible but sometimes if the papers need a story they'll they'll crop right in so yeah obviously I was just watching him and I think he just went like that you know just just rubbing the water off his face probably but if you can capture that the power of, a, of an image can can uh, mean lots of different things. So yeah, I thought that could go down as a bit of dejection perhaps. And then the VAR decision is obviously given. I stayed on Calvert-Lewin as long as I could, waiting for the any sort of celebration. And that was about all he gave us. So yeah, got that. And then he did shake one of the teammate Decore's hands. So yeah, got the little bit of celebration that there was. But VAR doesn't half spoil celebration sometimes. But anyway, and then... Uh, this is just we've got a bit more dejection. Look, well, it, Sean Dyche, it could be classed as a bit of dejection if you was to zoom in again. You know, a bit like that previous image of him and uh, both managers together there. 
And then we're at half time. Uh, oh, I think there's a bit of extra time here, a bit more Sean Dyche. Rain's getting heavier, look. Right, and now we must be into the second half, I think. So, yeah, nice bit of action, this. This was a lovely bit of action. Great tackle. And uh, got a nice sequence of that, so I was happy with that. What we at? 2,000th. ISO 2... I'm at... I'm at Five there, F5 on the 400. I'm guessing I forgot to go back to 2.8 after shooting a corner, probably. I'm not sure. Because sometimes when I'm shooting a corner on the on the 400 and I want a bit more depth of field in the area, the, the far goal, I'll just knock the aperture up a bit so that if one player's, you know, if there's a header goes up and I'm just, my focus point's just off with a bit of luck at F5, might just give me a little bit more depth. Doesn't always work, but yeah, not obviously... The plays come into the middle of the park again, and I forgot to knock the <laughs> aperture down. But anyway, yeah, I'm still at F5. Look, but yeah, a bit more play, a bit more of Sean Dyche giving out some instruction. Probably a little bit overexposed that actually. I ought to have brought the highlights down a bit. He's a little bit shiny, isn't he? But uh, anyway, a bit more action. Obviously, this is number nine. This is the goal scorer that I had very little of because because most of the the second half, obviously, I, yeah, incidentally, for the second half, I stayed the same end for loot and attack. I thought, I've got to go loot and attack now, haven't I? And <laughs> But it was it was a bit of a steady old game, and Everton were pushing quite a lot for this, uh, their, their second, their equalising goal. So, didn't get much play at our end, really. Didn't get any close-ups of any boots this week, or, or any, any arm patches of anything, unfortunately. And um, by this time, what time are we at now? Ten past four. My 400 was starting to get waterlogged and not long after this my shutter button packed up and I was laughing with uh, one of the one of the guys from Getty and David I was sat next to David second half and it was so intermittent I was keeping my finger on it there was nothing then there'd be no focus and then it would fire about six or seven and I, f I sounded like a right trigger happy snapper but uh, yeah it definitely got wet the one DX did and um in the end, it, it ended up. It stopped working in the end. Then I just had to rely on the the seventy to two hundred. But uh, luckily, it's since dried out. It's been. I've had all my kit uh, spread out, and it's, it's since dried out, and it's working again now. But we'll have to keep a close eye on that. But I had my rain cover over. But um, if and when I go mirrorless, I did notice that a lot of the guys with the mirrorless guys had the rain cover over their head the whole time, and was obviously viewing the images in the viewfinder. That must be fantastic. Whereas I was obviously shooting and I had to keep taking the sheet off and, and looking away at my camera and checking the images before it packed up so that's probably why the shutter button went because it, it got wet but uh, obviously in the deluge of rain but anyway getting back to the images Anthony Taylor here and Morris pointing at each other a bit of an altercation um, looks like it was I don't know Tarkhouse has got the ball here look so must have been a, a goal kick or something and Morris is saying corner something like that so a bit of uh, a bit of chat going on amongst the players and the ref always good to keep Another one of the goal scorer thought I've got to hose him down best I can. Not the greatest of images, but it's an image of the goal, one of the Luton goal scorers. So just thought I'd send that off. Bit more action. Calvert Lewin here winning a winning the ball against the Luton player, and then the old uh, safe shift. Obviously, as you know, I've got the pan blur settings on my safe shift button, and uh, just to try and get a bit of, a bit of movement. So got that one. Um, obviously, second half I've got. Jordan Pickford, the Everton keeper, my side. So I was keeping an eye on him for any sort of dejection because he's always waving about and giving us plenty. And uh, yeah, he had a he had a bit of a wobble on here <laughs> and uh, lots of dejection from Jordan Pickford. So you know, nice to hose him down and get plenty. Um, I think something like that that was used. I think in the paper, not mine, but a couple of guys down. Got their picture used. Got excited, thought it was mine, but it wasn't. But we were all obviously trained on on Jordan Pickford while the play was up the other end. Um, so yeah, so always good to keep an eye on the keeper. And also, if there's a goal the other end, I did do it, but it didn't give us give us anything. If there's a goal the other end and you don't get the celebration, quickly get your eye on on the uh, opposition keeper because he might give a bit of a fist punch or something. If you can't get anything from the other end, but. Yeah, the Luton keeper, he did give something, but I just got his back, so uh, no use to me that. But uh, yeah, always keep an eye on the keeper, um, celebrating a goal to the end, you know. But uh, yeah, a few more. I did hose Pickford down. Um, another safe shift. So what settings are we at? I've gone through them, but F10, 30th of a second, ISO 400 on the 400, obviously. And uh, yeah, just get a bit of pambler, a bit of movement in an image, just adds to the set a bit. And... Uh, 
Then we've got the fans celebrating. I think they were singing and going too. But, uh, and then full time. What are we at now? We're at, see, full time. So that was the fans at, yeah, that was the fans at full time uh, celebrating the loot and win. Um, they all had the jackets on and that. I was hoping for a bit more colour, but there weren't too much colour about really. But um, with the rain, with the rain coming down. But uh, fans came over. Now we're not allowed to move out of them pits at Everton, so I didn't want to be cheeky and move around. So I stayed in the pit and just got what I could. Obviously they're looking away from us a bit, but just tried to get as much reaction as I could really. Um, whilst the players came to applaud their travelling fans. And then as as uh, Rob Edwards came over, the Luton manager just hosed him down and got as much as I could of him, just in case anything might be used, you know, any sort of celebration. Again, it's all side on, but uh, yeah, I think that's a crop of that one look just in case. But I, I did always, I always got told, when I first started in sports photography, I did get told, as long as you've got the subjects, one of the subjects I open and in the frame, it's probably good to use. So you know, one eye is better than better than if if you if it, anything more and, you, and you're away from the camera, I, I wouldn't I tend not to use it. But um, you can see his eyes there, and then I just it's such a shame about about this chap stood here, but it is what it is. You know, you could do a tight crop on that, but you t you do a tight crop on that, then you're going to lose a lot of a lot of quality look. But uh, it's it's fairly sharp at that. But yeah, I just hosed him down while he was while he was uh, applauding the fans and whatever and cheering. And that is it. So, <laughs> all in all, I didn't even get, I didn't even put the remote out, obviously. Didn't want to risk that getting wet in any way, shape or form. So the rem remote was out. As you've seen in them images, it's raining in every single one. Incidentally, my 1DX on the 400 that stopped is working again, but I can't take the body off because during once the 1DX did go wrong and fail and the shutter button stopped, I tried to get it off and got my 400 out that was going to be set up for my remote. I couldn't get the 1DX off and it's ja it's jammed on, so the locking pin must have must have. I don't know if it's got wet or whether it, I knew I know they do go from time to time, but uh, yeah. So that's currently jammed on my 400. So I'm gonna I've got Ipswich versus Preston this weekend. Fingers crossed, it's all going to be okay. Um, I'm going to give it another test run, and if it is a quick de a trip down to down to London to fixation to take it, in, I'll have to do that before the weekend. But but um, fingers crossed, it'll be all right. And then probably the next Monday, I'll try and get it try and get it down there and uh, and get it taken off. Um, yeah, so the one DX getting quite worn, getting quite old now. So uh, yeah, we shall we shall see. But we're all working at the minute. But yeah, anyway, that's just a quick look. I say quick look, but that's about twenty minutes again. But um, yeah, quick look over the game. A terribly wet game. I don't want any more of them games, really. But uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Look forward to uh, getting on, getting on with your comments. And I'm I'm trying to catch up with comments as much as I can. <laughs> but there's so many now. It's brilliant to hear from you all. But uh, oh, and incidentally, if you could remember to give the video a like, that'd be really much appreciated. It really does. It really does push the video when you give it a like. So uh, yeah, YouTube like 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 as many likes as possible, and so do I. So anyway, guys, for those of you that are going out tomorrow, have a great game and catch up next week. Take care. Catch up soon.